We just got to 40,000 subscribers, and I ran it to you guys on Instagram to give you ideas on what to do at 40k. Someone said to do Spider-Man does flips on a trampoline. I decided to amp up the level and go even higher. Spider-Man visits a trampoline park. We are here at Sky Zone Elmhurst, and they have allowed us to come in and flip, spin, and trick as Spider-Man. Let's go in and sign in and see how this is gonna work. Excited to jump, Michael? I am. Don't show me my. <laughs> I don't know how to take a selfie with your camera. After we got set up with our socks, the first thing we immediately ran off to do was to get some free bounce in. Honestly, it's just been so long since I was actually on a trampoline, I just needed to try out some simple flips. And just needed to get some warm ups in before anything too crazy. Because they had a lot of cool things to do here. I figured with just a mask on, I wouldn't cause too much attention, but I was very wrong. As it didn't take too long for a small crowd of people to line up right behind me and follow me to every single trampoline. But I didn't complain, they were the homies. The crowd was split between two groups of people. The first that wanted me to sign their socks, of all things. Yeah, I know, but we kind of had to improvise. Are we good? Are we good? Is this sign your socks? And the second that had an undying mission to obliterate Spider-Man with dodgeballs. <laughs> Oddly enough, the two groups almost had all of the same people in them. Now that I think about it, I think after I signed their socks, their allegiance very quickly changed to the dodgeballs. And I can't really blame them for that. I tried my best, but to very little success. Next up was the huge rock wall that they had, and this was one of the things I was most excited to try. Putting my Spider-Man climbing skills to the test. And of course failing pretty much every time. Hey man, it's a lot harder than it looks, and I had a mask on. Michael also gave this a try, and I gotta say, it was fun getting to swap places for a second, taking his camera and seeing him do the Spider-Man stuff, which he was honestly really good at. I think he could take my job. It's hard, right? After climbing up, we switched gears and decided to go down really fast on their zipline and mega slide. Yeah, I know that was kind of corny, but that's like 90% of my personality at this point. You should honestly be expecting that every video. And if you're not, then welcome. We tried their zipline first, and this one kind of made me feel like Spider-Man. I almost felt like I was swinging off of a web, especially on the drop, which if you're not ready for it, will absolutely vibe check you on the way down. Then the mega slide, and this thing was way bigger than it looked online. Not to mention way higher up and way faster than I thought it was. I think I rode this thing like six times and I did not get tired of it. It gives off that same feeling of going over the peak of a roller coaster, but then you just fly through the air. And of course, each time I made it my mission to do a superhero landing. We took a quick 
next stop at the arcade and the giant warp wall, which was one of my favorite things to be honest. It was simple yet really cool. It's a giant vertical wall that has two levels on it and you have to basically run and wall run up and grab onto the top, pull yourself up and then slide down the fireman pole. The arcade had one of those cool punching bag games, and I've never played one before and always wanted to. I got pretty close to the record, but was just shy of it. And I also proved how terrible I am at basketball with the next game, but at least Michael scored some hoops on it. We also tried our hand at dunking the basketball using the trampoline, which was a bit more in my element, but I still managed to whip the basket on pretty much every single dunk. This doesn't really seem like it's my sport, but I still gave it a shot. And keeping on our basketball streak, we went over to the air court, and this place was so dope. The entire court is covered with a soft pad that gives you a little bit of bounce. So you can actually get some pretty good height on your dunks if you time your jumps right. And as we've learned from the previous games, I got absolutely smoked on this court. Even with my height and my hops, I did not have the hoop skills whatsoever. And I definitely ran out of breath in like the first 25 seconds, so I gotta hit that treadmill a little bit. And this was the moment that I realized Michael had a hidden talent at basketball that he never told me about. Dude was lobbing up baskets left and right, and honestly, mad respect. It was a lot of fun switching roles again and taking his camera because he honestly fit right into his element right here. And I could tell he had a lot of fun. For the final activity, we went to stretch back out with some free bounce again. And this was honestly just a sad excuse for me to prove I knew how to do at least one thing after getting absolutely folded in basketball for like the last hour. And lastly, we had the final event, the one that I had been waiting for all day. The main activity people go to these parks to play. An already intense game by nature and design, but when you add an entire environment built out of trampolines, it goes wild. The most intense battle of my life. We hit up the dodgeball courts and it was absolute war. We tried not to have too much fun when playing. But like I said, we were playing trampoline dodgeball, so we got creative. Also, the camera didn't pick it up, but this kid nailed me right in the face and my eye lens just flew right out. So props to this kid, broke out a beamer right on Spider-Man and just walked it off like another Sunday. All in all, we had an absolute blast at the whole park. We got to experiment and try out all of their attractions, which they have a wide range and variety, so there's bound to be something here for everyone to enjoy. And as fun as all of the attractions were, my favorite part was actually interacting with everybody there. Like I said, I genuinely didn't expect to gather up too much attention just wearing a mask. But I was proved wrong, and I'm very grateful that I was. Seeing all of the people there, young and old, was amazing, and seeing their faces light up as they saw Spider-Man do a flip or a trick was the best part of the day. I always say that the best part of making content online is interacting with the community, and that goes tenfold for things like this. Thank you all so much for being a part of this, and for getting us to 40,000 subscribers. Without you guys, videos like this could never really happen, and I'm forever grateful that they can. 
If you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment down below letting me know what you want to see. And absolutely a massive thank you and shout out to my friends over at Sky Zone Elmhurst. Without them, this video wouldn't be possible, and the team there was kind enough to let us in and film this video for the day. If you're in or around the Chicagoland area and are looking for something fun to do on a free day you have, I highly encourage you to check out Sky Zone Elmhurst. And hey, who knows, maybe I'll make another video here in the future and you guys could be a part of it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for 40k. Let's get to 50 and on the road to 100k. As always, peace and love, do good things, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! We are